Hey everyone, it's April Zine. I haven't filmed in forever. I'm finally in my new space. I don't know how much this background is going to stay how it is. So this is kind of how I have it set up right now. But today I thought I'd go over all of the nine pan palettes from ColourPop and just kind of break down my thoughts on each of the palettes. I have done this over on my blog, but I thought it'd be fun to do it on the YouTube channel today. So I got all 10. They're out. Uh, they did just release another one, which I don't know if I'm going to get it, to be quite honest. Though I probably will end up getting it, which is the Orange You Glad. But, since I don't have that today, that's the only one that's not included in this little thing. As we go over each of the palettes, I'll throw up swatches on the screen of what each of these look like. If you are wondering what's on my eyes, it's the very first palette we're going to be talking about, which is the ColourPop Extrala Proceed with Caution Palette. This is what I have in my eye. So this one here, they're all nine palettes, nine shades. Um, you got a mixture of your kind of neutrals, orange, you got this nice um, yellow. It's not like super yellow, it's kind of like more of an orangey tone. But this one's really nice just to kind of like if you want a pop of color, but you are just kind of getting out of that neutral zone and you want a palette. This one is pretty good. I do really enjoy this. Plus they all have a good sized mirror on them. So yeah. Um, however, all the palettes are plastic, which I mean isn't the greatest for the environment, but I don't mind it too much. So anyways, that is proceed with caution. Next, I'm just going to go down the list in no particular order. As the It's My Pleasure palette, this is a monochrome palette that is all purples. Um, that's what this one kind of looks like. Um, my first shade in here is this one, which is Mr. Sandman. It's kind of a duochrome. Same with this one here, which is Earthshine, which has like a bluish flip to it, which I really like using. It kind of reminds me of um, the Jeffree Star... Uh, from the Jawbreaker palette, or the Maybreaker palette, they have one called Oral. I haven't prepared to see if they're actually identical, but that's this shade here. You can see I've kind of dug into this guy quite a bit. I think you guys can see that, but not. This is the purple palette. Um, some of the shades do stain, is what I've noticed. Uh, those are pretty much the mattes in here, so this one, this guy, and this guy. This guy kind of stains, but not to the same extent as these two. These two definitely stain quite a bit. I have purple again all over my desk now. Wonderful. Alright, next is the Soul Palette, which is their Coral Palette, is what they like to call it. Which is this guy right here. It used to have a different packaging. Um, I did re-get mine and then give my mom the original one that I had, uh, there's no particular reason why I did that. I just decided to do that so that way they kind of all were together in the style. Plus my mom wanted the palette because she really liked it. So this guy I feel like is already the orange palette, which is why I'm not really sure why they came out with an orangey lab. But I will maybe do a comparison between this guy and that guy to see how similar they are. But yeah, this is Soul, which is one of my go-tos um, in the summer months if I'm doing a makeup look. Uh, next is the Main Squeeze, which is their red palette, their monochrome red palette. Um, looks like this. And it is quite similar to Soul in a way, if you look at them side by side. They both have reds in them, but none of these are identical. Um, the one that's in the center is Motel in this one, and then it's kind of similar to Home Slice, but a little bit more metallic. That's kind of the main difference, otherwise all the shades in this palette are different from in this palette. And this one definitely stains. Um, my entire arm is still stained from me doing the swatches last night. So that was mainly this palette that caused that. 
Not that it's a bad thing, but if you don't like staining, that's not for you. Uh, if you are more kind of towards the neutral side, the Night Pant palette that would be for you is the Brown Sugar. That yeah, looks just like this when my shades is popping out. All these are metallic or magnetic, so it kind of the pants kind of pop in and out. And then they also turn, which is another downside to these palettes, but this guy's your good go-to everyday neutral palette if you are in the market for one. If you're not, then you can skip out on this palette. It's kind of your basic everyday palette. So it probably already has something very similar to that in your collection. Um, this palette came out for St. Patrick's Day and it is the Just My Luck. This one I really like. It's the Monotone Green and I like using it a lot because it really brings out the green in my eyes. Um, you know, I have hazel eyes, but I really love this palette. This palette is so nice. I can make a hundred different looks out of this one palette. Really enjoy the, the green. This is probably my favorite one of the bunch. Um, next is the Mar palette, which again, I had got a new one, so they kind of like I haven't used it a whole bunch, but this was actually one of my most used ones. I ended up giving my original one to my sister because she really wanted it, and then I wanted to get the packaging that all kind of looked similar with the pure monochrome. And again, she was going to purchase it anyway, so I just gave her my old one, and then I have this one now. So, but I love using this one in combination with Soul. And you can actually use this one as well with the blue palette, which we'll get to eventually, to make um, different type of looks. So, yeah, this palette is really nice. I really like this one. Um, next, we have Ooh La La, which is actually, I think, their first nine pan palette. This one's got kind of more of a matte. Um, packaging versus this one, all the rest kind of have a glossy finish to it, which I think is really interesting. This one was released on Mean Girls Day. And this one stains quite a bit, but I do really like using this palette because I don't have a lot of pinks, like these types of pinks in my collection. I kind of did that on purpose. I kind of just picked this guy and kept this one. and. In the end, basically, because I have all of these individual pants, was why I got rid of the Morphe X um, James Pal James Charles palette because I can basically just recreate it with these guys. So yeah, this is the Ooh La La. It also stains less than that palette does, so still stains, but not as bad. Uh, next, we'll go to Blue Moon, which is probably my second favorite of the bunch. I love this shade. This shade right here, Tide Pool. Mwah. I love it. And then making it a halo with Clued In. Mm, I love it. And with Lumi. These three together are just gorgeous, in my opinion. I just, I can't get off this palette. Just like the Just My Luck, Blue Moon is one of my favorites. So, definitely really like this. And yeah. That is the Blue Moon. And last but not least, we have the Aha uh -huh Honey palette, which is the newest one they've come out with. And it's the first one that has a pressed glitter shadow in it of these nine pans. I believe the um, Orangey Glad one also is going to have a pressed glitter in it, which is not my favorite formula. You definitely need a glitter glue for it. And you can't put it like in your inner corner because the particles are too big and it will scratch your eye. So you have to be very careful about placement for this. And one thing I know, like when you blend out these um, shades, they all look insanely similar. So you don't get a lot of variety in this palette, in my opinion. So if you were, if you love yellows, it's a nice palette. However. I find that there's not a lot of variety in looks that you can make out of this. Maybe I'll just try to challenge myself to do a uh, three looks one palette with this and try to come up with three different looks that actually look different from one another using this. But just off of the four times that I've used it so far, every look has somewhat turned out looking almost the same. So that is kind of my basic idea of this palette at this time. 
So yeah, that was kind of a mini breakdown of all of the ColourPop 9 Pan palettes. I'll have more videos in the future on different things, may do some makeup tutorials and that kind of jazz, but I'm just easing my way back into YouTube and the blog now that I have internet again. So I hope you guys all enjoy it. If you did, give this video a pause up, subscribe to the Howl Pack, and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye!